Hello, I'm Becky and this is the companion video to the Leaf Bowl tutorial. So we're going to take those files today, we're going to look at cutting the part out on the CNC machine. We've got our block of materials, we're working with walnut in this case. We're going to go and screw the part down into our spoil board and we'll run our dowel toolpaths followed by the roughing and the 3D finishing toolpath. So here is our first toolpath. We're going to run the dowel toolpath, so we're just going to cut partially into the top side of our material block. So there we have our dowel holes using the same quarter inch end mill we are now ready to run the 3D roughing tool pad. And so once the 3D roofing toolpath was complete, this is the part that we were left with. So then at this point, what we then went and did was change the tool to an 8th inch ball nose, ready for us to run our finishing toolpath. Okay, so now that we've cut the top side of our material block, what we need to do now is flip the part over and machine the bottom side of our leaf bowl. So to do that, what we need to do is drill dowel holes into our spoil board and we're going to take these dowels, we're going to secure them into our material block in which we will then flip the part over and secure them into place into the spoil board in which we will then bring our roughing and finishing tool pack.
now that we have our dowel holes drilled in to our spoil board, we're now ready to take that block of material, flip the part over so that we get correct alignment between the dowels in the spoil board and the dowels in our material block. So now that we have our material block aligned with the dowel holes in the spoil board, we need to secure that in place. So in this case, we're just going to screw the part down into the spoil board. And then we're ready to run the 3D roughing toolpath. Once the machine had finished the 3D riffing toolpath, we were then left with the part that you can see on your screen here. We then changed the tool to be an 8th inch ball nose and then we started to run the 3D finishing toolpath. So there we have our two-sided leaf bowl all cut and all we need to do now is manually remove those 3D component tabs and then give that a hand finish. And so that concludes this video on the machine inside of that two-sided leaf bowl. I just want to point out that there are lots of different approaches to two-sided machining and this is just one way that we know that works for us. Now if you plan to actually machine the example shown in the tutorial along with this video then it is very important that you calculate all the toolpaths using parameters and settings that are safe and appropriate for your particular machine, the tooling that you have available and the material that you are using. Thank you for watching.